right, let's talk about this business over here, these live tiles. I have an uh, opinion about these live tiles. They are extremely useful and completely useless. It depends entirely on whether or not you or your IT team take a moment and customize them. So the first thing I like to tell anyone is if you see things inside of here that are not relevant to you or that you don't use, go through and remove them and then pin only the stuff that you do use. So if at the end of this exercise you have only you know, the internet, Outlook, and Word, those three tiles will be more useful to you than all of these. So let's talk about how exactly we do that. Yeah. So first things first, on your smartphone, how would you rearrange the apps on your home screen? Press and hold. You got it. So same thing here in Windows 10, using your finger. Press and hold on any live tile and it pops out immediately. You'll see there are now two little uh, white circles here. This top one will unpin it. So let me find an app that I'm not using right now. Let's say Candy Crush, not using that at all. Uh, I promise, I swear. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this uh, unpin icon and away it goes. Uh, now, everything that you can do with touch, you can also do with your mouse. So I'm going to see Minecraft here. You know what, I don't really want to use that. Well, it's a little bit of a different movement with my mouse. I'm going to right click on that app. So when I right click, I then see unpin from start as an available option. Inside of here, I also, if I have the permissions to do so, can uninstall that application. And I have additional options and settings. And of course, in Windows 10, we allow you to choose multiple different tile sizes. If something's more or less important to you, uh, you can customize the look and feel. All of that available here, but I'll go ahead and unpin it. Now let's say you wanted to rearrange these tiles, move them around the screen. Simply press and hold with your finger, that will pop out. And then you can move that tile wherever your heart's content. I'll leave it right there, just where it was. Now if you recall, when I press and hold, I get these two white buttons. The bottom one, take a look, it's that same menu. So it's nice and consistent across how I'm using it. It'll even give me a bit more room for my fingers because I'm doing this using touch. Now you might notice on my start menu that I have these little titles here, create, explore. You can create your own groupings. So if I wanted to do that, let's say I wanted to create an office grouping. Notice I don't have many office products. So I'm gonna scroll through my list of everything on the computer and behold, here is Excel. So I'm going to click and drag. And watch this, the second that my mouse crosses the threshold, plop, it's a tile. And now I can place this tile wherever I would like, or I can put it in between two existing groups. So you see here, there's that line that is appearing. This is Windows letting me know, hey, when you release, we're going to make a new group. So I'll release that there. And if I hover my mouse over it, you see name group in light gray, I'm gonna call this office. And there we go. So I can continue to add different apps to this, no problem. Uh, now let's say, you know what, Jared? I like this, but uh, I don't wanna use live tiles. I wanna pin it to my taskbar at the bottom of the screen, like I'm used to with Windows 7. That's perfectly fine. All you do, grab Excel, move it right down to your taskbar at the bottom, and release. And just like that, you'll notice Excel is now pinned here. So I'm able to use it. Uh, no problem. I could even click and drag and move this to my desktop if I wanted to create a icon there. So it gives me a lot of different options for how best to customize my start menu and have just very quick access to the things throughout the day. Great. Yeah, it looks great. It's it's nice, I think, also with uh, live tiles because you're able to consume some information without actually opening the application. So for things like mail and calendar and weather, even news applications are really great. So you can actually some, absorb some content uh, and save yourself a little bit of time throughout your day. Thanks. Absolutely.